and we're going to assault it with a variety of threats. Now what you're starting to see is bullets that are being destroyed. You stopped all those rounds. John LaPlume, I'm the Vice President of Product Line Development and Strategy for First Spear. As we continue our field assessment of First Spear technologies, we're moving on in uh, capability to what we call the First Spear Neutrally Buoyant Ballistic Plate. This is a high density polyethylene product. It works against multiple threats. It is a standalone plate like the UC uh, and like some of the other plates in our line. And as you can see, it's a tremendous capability for the weight that it's at. An added plus is that it's neutrally buoyant. It's got some very unique special capabilities that we're going to show you, particularly against a 7.6239 ball as fired out of the AK-47. First threat we're gonna take against is a single shot, 7.62 by 39. This is mild steel core, standard uh, 122 grain, 123 grain, quality control of the people's paradise. Made in uh, Tula, Russia. can feel a slight deformation in the back, but not much. We're gonna proceed on in our field assessment with a multi-strike engagement in the same weapon, same projectile. As you can see, the back of the plate carrier is clear from now six strikes, a 762 by 39. We're gonna fire 762 by 51 NATO M80 ball into the first spear NBBP. As we've seen in previous sequences with the first spear NBBP, it does really well against 7.62 millimeter threats. We've had some questions in the past about how it will perform against 55 grain 5.56. We're using a 55 grain Winchester Ranger pointed soft point from their law enforcement line. Total of 10 strikes against this plate with no soft armor behind it in a complete standalone configuration. As you can see, we got a little bit of damage to the carrier now. No penetration, 10 rounds at close quarters is a pretty extreme end use for this product. We're gonna take this plate out of the carrier. We're gonna take a closer look at it at our table. These packages are made out of ultra high molecular weight extended chain polyethylenes, which is a long way of saying they're, they're the strongest fibers known to mankind that are being put into these packages. The other thing that adds to the value and the stopping performance is the ability to bring those fibers very close together under high pressure and high temperature and thus bonding this into one solid plate, giving you the ultimate performance that you can receive. So now we're going to open these up and we're going to look inside and show you some stopped rounds. Now that we've deconstructed the hard plate. First removing its nylon shows the impact points for the 762 by 39 mild steel core as well as an impact of an M80 ball 762 by 51. So removing the outer skin which you'll notice is just the first portion of this plate will reveal the damage of the projectile 762 by 39 mild steel that's been stopped in the first portion of the panel and then a, a much larger event on the M80 ball. Obviously, more impact and more delamination to the panel itself on the M80 relative to the 762 by 39 mild steel. Looking at the 556 rounds, again, looking at just the first portion of the skin, it's removed from these ultra high molecular weight polyethylene plates, will now reveal the damage that's incurred from the 556, where you'll see the lead splatter, you'll also see parts of the copper jacket. And then in this corner here, you can actually see part of that projectile that's, that's still destroyed and inside of the cavity. 
because of the lighter mass of this bullet, you'll also notice less back face, realizing that this panel was shot 10 times. This panel was shot seven with heavier projectiles, and you can see a, a greater back face than you can on the 5.56. We're gonna take another stab with a non-standard, out of the requirement threat against a single strike, 7.62, 54R, 182 grain, full metal case match. As you can see, the force of the projectile is pretty massive. Uh, the muzzle blast did quite a bit of damage to the surface of the carrier. It also unfastened the two cummerbunds. We've got quite a welt on the back of the plate here, but it didn't penetrate. So again, we're gonna try another round. This is 148 grain, full metal case, LPS round. There's damage to the back of the carrier. It has not penetrated the plate at contact. Pretty impressive. So now we're gonna fire one 70 grain TTSX as issued to certain US soft units in one M855 62 grain as issued to most of the US DOD. First shot, M855. Second shot, 70 grain TTSX. As you can see, the 70 grain TTSX was defeated inside the plate. However, the M855, commonly called the green tip, completely penetrated the plate, defeated the armor system. We'll show you now why we involve ceramic plates in our lineup to defeat projectiles like this. Mm -hmm. 